okay this is a chapter he hebrews chapter one and this is um a testimony of the just the certainty from this chapter of the triune nature of uh, of god of god the father and god the son and god the holy spirit and how the 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 son was manifest uh the word of god the the son the second member of the triune godhead was manifest and uh, and the word of god in the flesh and he's in the express image of the Father. Now, the, it can't be completely God in, in one person, because where would God be in the throne? And how th that would make Jesus a ventriloquist of, of himself in the heavens. So the, the second member of the Godhead departed from the heavens off his throne, and, and in, in spirit became the spirit express image of his person of the consuming fire of the father in in the express image of his person spiritually the angel of the lord the messenger in the son and he became the only begotten son god who sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets so the father called by the word of god by the messenger by the son the prophets and you can see all throughout the prophets the pattern of the lord administering with the father and the holy spirit to the vessels of his word his uh, law his truth his testimony his prophecy having these last days spoken unto us solely by his son having these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he have appointed heir of all things the complete the complete man physical spiritual and god in the flesh uh, Colossians 2 9 the father in the son on earth who the father is in he in heaven and the son is from heaven of the father with the father in the beginning John chapter 1 in the flesh with the fullness of the Holy Spirit the witness of the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit having these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he have whom he have appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself God the Father, God the Son, and by God the Son himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, on the right hand of the Father, where he was eternally, being much, so much better than the angels, the ones he created, as he hath by inheritance attained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son? This day have I begotten thee. This day have I begotten thee. That day when Christ was born, has the Lord begotten his son, the word of God, who's a consuming spirit in the, in, in the person, in the flesh, who's a model, who's a, an express replica image of his father, a photocopy, an identical personage of, of the father, but the father's a, a spirit consuming fire. And he's come and he sent his word, his son, in the express image of, him, of the complete, of the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit in one person. But he's separate as a personality from the Father and the Holy Spirit, but he's one in unity, in, in expression of that one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the express image of the one person, who is Christ, being made so much better than the angels, as he have by excellent, by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they, for unto which the angels said he at any time, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. That's the relationship, the the um, the reasoning of uh, imputed within the believer. That reasoning um, is of the Lord, is of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit reasoning together in the mind, and the mind, heart, will of God. That's how how God works by reason, judgment foresight foreknowledge plan careful fear the wisdom of of the complete plan is already 
in the in the heart and beginning with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and then it's realised by His His Word and then the expression of that Word into actions and works. But it's already fought out perfectly from the beginning in the Father, in the Son, and in the Holy Spirit. The reasoning given to the believer, the uh, the way to ponder, the way to make judgments, reason. Let's reason together. Let's consider this. Let's weigh it up. The Lord's given us a just balance. He's given us the triune reasoning of his heart, mind and will. Expressed in his son. The gift. The gift of eternal life. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. And and of the angels he has saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Who maketh his angels spirits? Who created his angels? And who makes his servants and min ministers of holy fire and testimony? Well, it's Christ. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is, is for ever and ever. A sceptre of righteousness is the sceptre of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. He died. The mercy of, of God died. Was, was given it up itself and showed its mercy by dying, giving up its its scepter of righteousness. But it didn't give up its scepter of righteousness, it gave up the kingdom, the right to the earthly kingdom, by his righteousness. And that righteousness was lifted up, because he hated iniquity, he hated injustice, he didn't want a, a corrupt kingdom presented to him. So he came to take the claim his throne his throne he didn't, he didn't claim it he just it was just a hand it lifted up on the cross and he was exalted on on the cross on the throne that had been corrupted by evil powers that had set privily there to, to catch him not realizing that behind it was satan that that he would lay his life down and he would allow them what they wanted but he wouldn't give up his throne and his kingdom and his righteousness so he was strung up for it and then he took it back up and, and gave it to the poor and our Lord in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the works of thine hands that they shall perish there's an everlasting kingdom in, in Christ in heaven but thou remainest and they shall wax old as, as, a, as dove a garment and as a vista shall thou fold them up and they shall be changed and thou art the same, and thy years shall not fall. But to which the angel said, Here, any time sit thou on my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And they, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? So anyone good on the earth is just a creation and a minister for his salvation, no more, no, no, no less. Uh, so that was my, that, that's the testimony in uh, of the triune nature of God. And the whole word, if you if you want the modalists, my my only thing with born again Christian King James ministries that, that hold to modalism is they're being cute or they're being smart. Really believing in the triune nature, but they're selling it as modalism. So they're selling something dishonestly, which I I can only presume that they hold to themselves. The triune nature, but they're being smart and uh, trying to remove any Catholic association from the Trinity, which you can't do. It, if, if a robber uses your father's name, you're not going to deny your father because a robber's using it, because you, you you have to be true to man and your your fellow brother and sister. Otherwise, you're you're teaching a false message, and you're going to hook somebody up. You might trip up a. a a wolf but you're going to snare a rabbit or a, a lamb so uh, that that's my conviction and that's the conviction I, I've received through personal faith in believing in in the triune nature of God from the beginning otherwise that's my testimony out the window and, and I'm going to contend for the faith that, uh, that God is God is three in one and one in three and that one in the middle is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's 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 Hebrews one. He's the Son. Colossians two nine. John one. 
John 3, you must be born again. John 10, the door, the porter, the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Almighty Father of, of the Son, the equal to Romans 8, he thought it not robbery to be equal with his father. The expression in King David, in Daniel, in all, all the beloved, in King, in King David, in Daniel, in Joseph, in Moses, in Christ, in the One, in the Son, Psalm 2. So that's my testimony and uh, I'm going to close there in the beloved name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen.